In this video, we play 100 Days in Tokyo Revengers where we try to become the leader of the Tokyo Manji Gang by challenging all the captives to a fight. Will we become the leader or not? Make sure you watch the full video to find out. I arrived at Tokyo and was greeted by this cat. I saw Pachin who reminded me that I needed to find Mikey to talk about me joining the Tokyo Manji Gang, so I set off to find him. While roaming the city, I came across this temple thing and found the Totem of Undying and was planning on stealing it but decided to put it back because I thought it'd be a bit unfair. I found this horse and instantly knew I was gonna rob him because he would make my life so much easier. Then I realized it was a Tenjiku member's horse so that's even better. Anyways, let's continue to find Mikey. I found the shopping area where I think armor was being sold so I went to check it out. I soon found Valhalla members inside so I'm assuming they're having a meeting. I don't want to get caught by them so decided it'd be best if I leave. I found the Tokyo Manji gang in the parking lot. Those Baji were the second in command. But I needed to find Mikey. Finally I found Mikey and he told me to join the Tokyo Manji gang I would need to beat up a Valhalla member to prove my worth. So let's go find that Valhalla member. For me to be up a Valhalla member, I would need some tools, so yep, that's right, we're here again cutting down some classic trees. With my horse, I left the city and, and not so long after we found a village, and you guessed it, we robbed all the food they had. And even a bit of their property because I needed some cobblestone to make some tools. I found this black dragon member and without thinking I decided to hit him. Quickly realizing my mistake I began running and tried to get on my horse but failed the first time. Don't worry though because I managed the second time and ran away. I went back to Tokyo and just look how beautiful this is. Once in the city, I noticed this building was made out of iron blocks and as I'm a criminal, I decided to steal it. Using the iron, I made some armor and a sword, which I turned into a knife. Yeah, that's right, now the Valhalla member was in trouble. I entered the shopping mall, which was filled with Tomen members, but to my surprise, I found a Valhalla member. But not just any member, it was Hanma, so of course I began fighting him. Yeah, this man was powerful, so I kinda cheated and used the environment to my advantage to kill him. I completed Mikey's mission, while doing so I became a criminal. Now all I had to do was find Mikey again and let him know I completed my mission and joined the gang. I found some Toman members and decided to help fight, since I will soon become their leaders but I accidentally hit my own member and he got mad so I ran away. After a while of exploring, I finally found the Toman gang and Mikey who told me I successfully joined the gang and there were some goodies waiting for me. Looks like I was given the Toman outfit and they even stole a bike for me. Yeah, the bike was crazy fun. Using the bike, I found an area to make my house. I went out of the city and collected some wood. When it turned night, I went into the village and took a bed of the village and went to bed. I returned home with a lot of wood so now I can build my house. I began with this wooden frame and made a really simple design. Yeah, this wasn't my best work but you'll get the job done. I also made this garage and now it was time to do the roof. Because I didn't have a bed, I had to go back to the village and sleep there and steal a bed in the morning. There were Valhalla members and black dragons fighting and of course I had to beat them all up. Yeah, I almost died and had to run away because that guy was too powerful to fight right now. I found this temple kinda place and there was netherite armor on display. Since I'm a criminal, I decided to rob it. But before I could, I was attacked by a Tenjiku member and surprisingly, a black dragon member helped me fight him. Once we were done fighting, I got the armor and now had the best armor in the game. When returning home, I found Tomen members and Valhalla members battling it out, with I think cops trying to stop it. So I ran into battle to help my side. For some reason, the cops only targeted me and was really close to beating me up. So I had to run into my house. Yeah, this cop wanted me dead. I killed the police officer with my amazing skills and got this gun. Yeah, this was going to be really unfair now. I spent rest of the day killing my enemies with my new gun. I found Shiba and Inui so I killed them using my pistol. It was now time to start climbing the ranks of the Tokyo Manchi gang which started by me defeating the right hand of the first commander. 
After a long time, I finally found him and challenged him to a fight, and here's how that went. After my fight was finished, I found Patchin and I'm pretty sure he's the 3rd division captain so once again I began fighting him. Yes, and then I had to use a knife but a win's a win. It was getting dark and a lot of mobs were spawning so I decided it'd be best if I go home and sleep. But on my way home, I saw a police officer waiting outside my house. Yeah, they wanted me dead. In the morning, I found Takamichi and he's the new 1st division captain so I fought him. I was killing some Tenjuku members when I came across Smiley and I mean he's the 4th division captain so I fought him. I was trying to kill this gang member with my gun but I accidentally killed Smiley but once again a win's a win. I came across the Tenjuku gang and for some reason killed all of them using my gun. Now it was time to fight the 2nd division and yeah this was really easy. I found two gangs fighting and decided to kill Hanma then everyone else. Now it was time to fight Baji. When we began our fight he tied up his hair and, and was ready for war. I'm not going to lie this was one of the hardest fight in the mod pack. If you thought fighting Baji was hard, fighting Draken was even harder because every time he got close to me he almost killed me. Yeah without my gun he would have won. In the morning Mikey was inside my house, I think because he heard I was going around beating up the captains to get their rank. I mean this was perfect because now I can challenge him to a fight and become the leader. Yeah looks like I wasn't ready to become the leader just yet because Mighty defeated me easily. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did please drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.